last of all to the countenance, giving a classic beauty, an angelic loveliness to the character. It takes three forms, a feeling in the heart, expression in words, and giving in return. It's amazing how two words, thank you, mean so much, yet so little. If we could show you how much your presence in our lives means to us, the simple phrase of thank you would pale and diminish in the sheer enormity of the gratitude we owe. Good evening and welcome dear parents, distinguished members of the Salishan community, guests of staff, well-wishers, past pupils and young friends to the annual Thanksgiving Day of Don Bosco High School. Today, we want to thank you all for accompanying us in our journey here at school. We appreciate all what you do for us. We want to thank in a special way those people who put forward the best version of themselves as they went about doing their ordinary duties in an extraordinary way as they bid farewell to this institution. We would like to congratulate our Silver Jubilarians for their many years of service to this institution. You are a true testimony of your dedication to the organization and you are truly valued for your contribution. Father Crispino de Souza, our Vice Rector, Reverend Father Joy Fernandez, and our Administrator, Reverend Father Orville Catino. Our retired staff, Ms. Shoma de Souza, Ms. Vijay Lakshmi Nayo, Mr. J. Muri Appin, and Mrs. Dipika Madkar. Our Silver Jubilarians, Mrs. Reshma Velgankar, Mrs. Lakshmi Krishna, Mrs. Daksha Tande, Mrs. Chanan de Souza, Mrs. Kashmira Rodericks, Mrs. Valina de Souza, and Mr. Savio de Souza. you wonderful audience. Let's put our hands together and welcome these beautiful people in our midst. We request the escorts to pin the favours on our honoured guests and the management.
we request the flag bearers to take position at the side of the stage. medium to educate the young. It is the distinct hallmark of our school. As Don Bosco said, a day without music is a day wasted. A house without music is a house without a soul. It is time to band with our school band. The school band boys have carved a niche for themselves in the city as well as at the national level through their stellar performances. They won the first place at the All India School Band Competition, Bandit, conducted by the Furtado School of Music. Kudos to our talented band players and Mr. Sabi Franco, the music maestro who wields the baton. The school band boys will play for us Shudzin Liesel Polka. master for their marvelous performance. This evening is dedicated to our dear father Bernard Fernandez. His passion for music wasn't hidden. In fact, he always made sure that there was music resounding in the campus. We start off with one of his favorite songs that he sang while playing the guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our primary section 
as they perform the foot tapping song 10 guitars What a fantastic way to start the show and welcome all of you present here. One of the first performances of Father Bernard at Don Bosco Matunga was during the glorious 75th year of our prestigious institution. He, along with the management, sang the beautiful prayer song, God Will Make a Way. Here are the KG section with their rendition of God Will Make a Way. Put your hands together for our little angels as they showcase a spiritually enriching performance.
Let us give a round of applause for our young boss guys and for their marvelous performance. It is a special day for us as we have distinguished guests in our midst. Today, we celebrate them and express our love and gratitude towards them for their singular contributions to their occasions. We request the flag bearers to take their position. On stage, our esteemed chief guest, Mr. S. J. Kumar, Joint Commissioner of Police, Mumbai City. Our guests of honor, Sister Hilda Fernandez from the Chivanthara Institute of Social Service, Kolar. Our members of the management are Rector and Principal, Reverend Father Crispino de Souza. Vice Rector, Reverend Father Ajoy Fernandez. And our Administrator, Reverend Father Orville Coutinho. We welcome our retired staff and distinguished guests, Mr. Shobha D'Souza. Mrs. Vijayalakshmi Nair. Mr. J. Mudiapan. Mrs. Dipika Matkar. Mrs. Reshma Balgaonkar. Mrs. Lakshmi Krishna. Mrs. Daksha Tandi. Mrs. Janet D'Souza. Mrs. Kashmira Rodericks. Mrs. Valina D'Souza. Mr. Savio de Souza. Let's applaud them as they make their way. We request the flag bearers to take position at the side of the stage.
Bosco, our privilege to have in our midst, our chief guest, Mr. S. J. Kumar, Joint Commissioner of Police, Mumbai City. In 2004, Mr. J. Kumar cleared his UPSC Civil Service Examination and was selected for IPS and was alerted to Maharaj Takadre. He began his police career as an Assistant Superintendent of Police before joining as a DCP in Mumbai and later as the additional commissioner of Mera Bhainder. His role in conduct of election was recognized by Election Commission and he was conferred Election Commission Diamond Jubilee Award. We invite Reverend Father Crispino to introduce our chief guest for the day. Dear Mr. Jai Kumar, our chief guest, Salesian fathers and brothers, our silver jubilarians and retired staff, heads and supervisors, staff, students, parents, Salesian cooperators, past pupils, benefactors, well-wishers, fathers and sisters and friends. We are very happy to have you here with us today and we welcome you to the annual day celebrations of our school with joy and affection. We are glad that you have made it here this evening to witness the amazing talent of our students of the school. Our chief guest this evening is our very own Mr. Jayakumar. He is the Joint Commissioner of Police for Mumbai. We've already heard from the compares about his posting and achievements. What I would like to tell you is why Mr. Jayakumar was chosen as the chief guest to grace this occasion. Not because he is the Joint Commissioner of Police. Not even because his two sons are studying in the school and Rodney, his eldest son, is the current school captain. Sir, the only reason you were chosen to be the chief guest is because of the special bond you shared with Father Bernard. I know the two of you would spend hours together in the office as friends. You know, whenever Father Bernard had a problem, and believe me, in a school like Don Bosco Matunga, you can have lots of problems. The one go-to person was Mr. Jayakumar. Even when others came to Father Bernard for help, he would call Mr. Jayakumar and ask for his help. Thank you, Mr. Jayakumar, for always being there for Father Bernard and for Don Bosco Matunga. Thank you for accepting our invitation to grace this occasion. It is a pleasure to have you in our midst. We have a joyous reason to celebrate today. Seven of our staff members have completed 25 years of dedicated service to this institution. And four of our staff members have retired from service. We wish to honor their sincere commitment for these many years. Every year, everything we say and do in the school revolves around a particular theme. The theme for this year is Love Liberates. In Don Bosco High School, Matunga, we nurture children with love. Before I conclude, I want to say a special word about the band. It's the pride of the school. And a band like this doesn't happen in a day. I remember when I was principal, I came here in 2001 as principal from Don Bosco, Yervada. I appointed Sir Sabi as the music teacher of the school. Sabi is an old companion of mine because his mother and my mother were in the same boarding school at Bastora, Goa. 
Then there was the same teachers together in Sitaram Prakash High School, Vadala. And then Sabi also joined Don Bosco Lanavla, but he was two years younger to me. He was in Bernard's batch. So Bernard and he are companions. And I was so happy that Sabi came to the school as music teacher. I'm also happy that Father Bosco is here present. He took over from me as principal, and he's the one who started the band in Don Bosco Matunga. I remember he brought instruments, I don't know, from outside India. He will be able to tell you the story how he started the band. And then, of course, Bernard came and took the band to another level. As the compass told you, we recently won the bandit competition conducted by Furtados, not only at the regional level, but at the All India level. So our school band is the best school band in the country. And we are very proud of Sir Sabi and the boys. It was Bernard's greatest wish that one annual day, the music would be live. All our annual days, our music is recorded. Only the boys used to sing live. But this evening, for the first time in Don Bosco Matunga, we have a live band and live singing. So Bernard's wish has finally come true. My dear friends, what you will witness this evening is a tribute of love to our dearest Father Bernard Fernandez, who left us for his heavenly abode just eight months ago on the 24th of May, 2022. He sacrificed his life for the last seven years to make the school what it is today. We want his memory to last forever in the annals of the history of the school. I want to thank Sir Avid Dias for beautifully showcasing his life for us. Mr. Cliff Richard D'Souza, our vice principal, along with Mrs. Anita Phillips and Mrs. Lakshmi, they were the chief coordinators of today's annual day. Along with the school team for the meticulous planning and coordinating this year's annual day event. It is the hard work of all these teachers and students for almost a month that you will see displayed here on stage. Father Bernard, wherever you are, this one's for you. So sit back, friends, relax, enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Father Crispino, for inspirational words. We Bosquites wish to thank you for inspirational words. We request you to felicitate our chief guest with a token of our admiration and a bouquet of flowers. As Father Crispino conveyed, Mr. Jay Kumar, we truly salute your politeness and humility and your selfless service towards our state. We would like you to address the gathering. Reverend Father Crispino, Reverend Father Alvin, Reverend Father Joy, Silver Jubilarians, Retiree staff, Guest of Honor on the dais, the religious from the Salesian community, ex Bosquites, excited parents, teachers, non teaching staff of the school, and my dear children. People forget 
what is spoken. People forget what is done to them. But people don't forget how they were made to feel. I'm honored to be on this stage. All due credit to Reverend Father Bernard. Truly missing him. This is a moment. Not exactly happy with his absence, but it was my association with him had brought me to this level. Reverend Father Bernard, true to the Salesian values, has lived his life in the last eight years, seven or eight years in the school. He has definitely taken the school to a next level. Next level. I'm humble to share about a small thing. In government service, we have a feel predecessor successor syndrome. What does it mean? A successor, in order to glorify self, does take all extra efforts to get down the predecessor. I should attribute all credit to Father Crispino. He doesn't miss a chance in the last eight months or so to attribute all the glory of the school to Reverend Father Bernard, which is unheard, unseen. <laughs> Father, salutes to you. It speaks about your individuality as well as the Salesian culture. Let this spirit live. I'm also excited. I've been a part of these celebrations over the years. I never missed a chance to attend the annual day function as a responsible parent. Be it as it may, but this year, the preparation excites me a lot. The size of the stage has increased. The LED screens behind, the live band is mesmerizing. So I'm also awaiting to see the, all the performance. But before I take my seat, I just wish to share a few thoughts with you. I want to share a story of the eagle. The eagle is considered to be the king of the birds, which has a lifespan of 70 plus years. Very powerful bird. Till its 30th year, it's strong, goes around, flies around, doesn't miss the chance to attack, so on and so forth. The period between 35th to 40 year is a very tough period. That's a time they say biologically the eagle goes through a molting phase. What is this molting? It is a time when the eagle, the beak gets turned. It's no more able to pierce the flesh of the animals it captures. The talons, the claws, they become little flexible. It doesn't allow the eagle to catch hold of its prey. The major thing, the feathers. The feathers become sticky. They get stuck to the chest. Doesn't allow it, allow it to fly high. That's the time when the eagle has to take a major decision of its life. Whether it will die of hunger or it will go through this molting phase. The phase of molting is not an easy phase. It's a painful phase. It has to go through all the penance. What does it do? The eagle flies high to the mountains. It goes to its nest. This period is approximately close to 150 days. It is in this period the eagle first tries to break its beak. It, it repeatedly hits the rock and breaks its beak. The once the beak gets broken, obviously it doesn't, it can't have any food. It takes maybe a month or so for the beak, the new beak to grow. As the new beak grows, the next thing it does is with a new strengthened beak, it removes its claws. The, the talons are removed. Again, another month for the talons to grow. 
once the talent is grown it uses uses its talons and the beak to remove the feathers one by one it plucks all the feathers out again a month or so for the new feathers to grow once the new feather grows the new beak the new talons and the new life of the eagle starts now it becomes a truly king of the birds it's from the 40th year if the life has to increase to 70 years this bird has to go through this phase my intention to tell the story everybody in life has a phase of ups and down when there is a phase of down you should not get depressed it is a time when you have to get all your senses under control you have to ensure that you prepare for the next phase the next phase of growth how does this growth happen it doesn't happen ordinarily you need to have a sense of motivation from inside motivation there is always variety of styles how will you get this motivation there are motivating factors externally motivating factors internally if there is a motivation from outside any individual tends to delay it tend to procrastinate but when there is a motivation from inside you will not hesitate in the case of the eagle it is the urge to live similarly every individual will always have a motivation he needs to have a motivation to grow the motivation should be based on what you want to achieve the school the school the teachers give you a proper platform how to identify your potential nurture the potential but the motivation needs to come from within the role of the parents the role of the teachers and the role of the school is necessary to keep this motivation burning inside parents there is always a tendency to leave the growth of the children to the school it should not be so in the modern world the parents have a major role in the development of the students the parents should nurture the students in the proper values it is the values that is necessary for every child to grow knowledge we have various ways of accumulating knowledge we should not attribute the entire responsibility only to the school but the right values inculcated at the right time will take the child high there is a saying the blade is sharp but it can't cut a tree the saw which is strong can't cut a hair so every individual has his own potential so no individual should be looked down upon unless you want to appreciate his shoes this value is very much important that every child has to be inculcated they should not be made to be judgmental they should be allowed to appreciate whatever comes to them only if they have the tendency to appreciate they can grow in a positive way it is necessary for every child to grow in a positive manner the management of don bosco as rightly put in wikipedia the school serves as apart from being a school it serves as a home it serves as a temple it serves as a playground it helps in nurturing every individual to the fullest potential they are responsible citizens of the country i wish all the children who entered this pressings to come out successful and be a responsible citizen to the country and finally to teachers i would say that every year you have been doing a lot you have been doing a lot to identify the potential of the children nurture the children and to get them to be, the, be uh, to help them to become the best boscoite towards the society i wish you all the best and i wish all the jubilerians all the retired staff all the very best in the next stage of their life and uh, father crispino once again i extend my thanks i extend my thanks for calling me as a chief guest even though had i not been a chief guest i would have definitely be a part of this program 
and it's an additional responsibility to deliver a message to you from this platform. So I thoroughly enjoy this role and wish you all good luck. Thank you. Mr. Jay Kumar for her inspirational words. We Boscoites wish to thank you for your contribution to the police department. We request Reverend Father Crispino to felicitate our guests of honor, Sister Hilda Fernandez with a bouquet of flowers. us, three members of the management, our Rector and Principal, Reverend Father Crispino de Souza, Vice Rector, Reverend Father Ajoy Fernandez, and our Administrator, Reverend Father Orville Cotido. They continue their journey with the young in joy and holiness, empowered with a supernatural endurance to stay the course. We request them to accept these bouquets as a symbolic gesture of love and immense appreciation. To our loving retiring staff, we want to celebrate the years of selfless service to this institution. Today, we want to celebrate our love for you and thank you all for being a part of this riveting success story of Don Bosco. We invite Reverend Father Crispino to read a citation for Mrs. Shobha D'Souza and Mrs. Vijayalakshmi Nair and thereafter felicitate them for their longevity of service and dedication. I think the compere was a little nervous. He mentioned the retired staff, but we will start with the Silver Jubilarians. Dear Mrs. Reshma Belgaukar, You have shown incredible dedication and loyalty to the institution for 25 years where you have served as a Marathi teacher, faculty head, and now supervisor for classes 9 and 10. Your disciplined commitment to your goals and the hard work you put in to ensure the all-round development of the multitude of students entrusted to your care has not gone unnoticed. You have not only taught your special subject Marathi, but have been a role model, guide, and friend who has helped shape many young and impressionable minds. The management observed and appreciated your gifts quite early on when, as a young teacher, you were asked to head the Marathi department of the secondary section. Another strength of yours, as observed by the management, is your humility and eagerness to learn and grow. You have never seen your forte as Marathi teacher as a barrier to be chosen as a leader. 
You even mentioned this to our late principal, Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez. I hope you will consider me for a leadership role, even though I don't speak English very well. Reshma, it was your confidence and your willingness to lead the school that led your appointment as a supervisor. You have a knack for perceiving in staff as well as students that which would be missed by the average eye. We wish you a long innings with more goals accomplished in your labor of love. Congratulations, Mrs. Reshma. Dear Mrs. Lakshmi Krishna, Twenty-five years ago, you entered the portals of this prestigious school, a confident young teacher. Gradually and steadily, you rose to meet the demands of this institution and merged with it. What followed next is history. Your love for science has enhanced the way you've created interest in the budding young minds. Ever eager to impart knowledge to your students, you are kind, compassionate, and understanding, especially to the younger boys with whom you walked the extra mile with a smile. Your contribution towards the Nature Club and the Green Line School campaigns has taught children to protect nature and reverse the effects of our own activity by eco-friendly ways, which only adds a feather to your cap. With your pedagogical skills, you endeavor to realize Don Bosco's vision, and this has led you to head the science research team. Your sincerity and efficiency has taken you to the designation of an assistant supervisor. Whenever and wherever the institution needs you, you are always there with your valuable assistance. Mrs. Lakshmi, you braved 25 long years to uphold excellent performance, taking up all responsibilities with grit and sheer determination. Now that you have reached this threshold, May you use the years to come with pride as you continue to journey, gracefully molding many more hearts and minds. Congratulations, Mrs. Lakshmi. Dear Mrs. Daksha Tandil,
Congratulations on completing 25 years of service in this august institution. Hard work, loyalty, and diligence are the cornerstones of great teachers. And we are glad that you have all these qualities. Your contribution to this school has been immense. You have earned the trust, admiration, and respect of your colleagues with your honesty, sincerity, and commitment to work. You have a flair for teaching your subject, Hindi. But what sets you apart is your proficiency in conversing in English. Your leadership qualities motivate others to give their best performance. The enthusiasm you bring to the work culture is something that cannot be taught or developed. You play a significant role in your initiative to celebrate different festivals or special days which does help promote happiness, peace, and harmony among the staff members. You always put the interest of your students ahead of you. Your ability to mentor and motivate them is exemplary. We are delighted and proud to have you as part of our team and congratulate you on this milestone. Blessings to you for continued success in all your endeavors. invite Reverend Father Ajoy to read an address for Mrs. Janet D'Souza and Mrs. Kashmira Rodericks and felicitate them with a token of appreciation. Dear Mrs. Janet D'Souza, <laughs> congratulations on completing 25 years of service at this esteemed institution, Don Bosco Matunga. As you celebrate a quarter of a century of teaching experience, we would like to say one thing for sure. Teachers like you matter. You are a teacher at heart. You keep your students at the heart of what you do, no matter where you are or who you teach. You have always striven to pursue the mission of Don Bosco and blended it with your expertise to create a smarter and wiser group of philomaths who contribute to society while creating an equitable world. One can tell a lot about a person by their handwriting. The graceful handwriting with which you adorn the certificates of our students and the documents of the school has been admired by many. Someone who is meticulous and looks into every minute detail of an event and achieves 100% results with great fervor makes the school authorities rely on you for their important occasions. We are especially grateful for your contribution and support during the last 25 years which may have posed many challenges. Your resilience and ability to minimize hassles and improve performance and joy at work is admirable. We recognize your hard work and devotion and the dedication with which you have served Don Bosco Matunga for all these years. Congratulations, 
Mrs. Janet D'Souza. Dear Mrs. Kashmira Rodericks, <laughs> 25 years ago, which seems just like yesterday, you walked through the gates of this hallowed institution. There was determination in your steady gait to touch lives, shape the future generation of students, and to make a difference. Your presence here today is a testimony that you have achieved all this and more. Known for your neatness in maintaining documents and your promptness in all submissions, you're an example for many to emulate. Your regularity at work shows in your, most, in your almost 10% attendance year after year a rare feat to achieve in an academic year, given the sacrifices one must make to be regular at work and to put work before self. A disciplinarian in the classroom, you have taken our young students of the primary section under your wings. You have instilled good values in them, made them independent, and prepared them to face the challenges that life will be putting before them. You are a reliable colleague and have walked the extra mile for someone in need. You have inspired the younger generation of teachers to strive for excellence. Today we rejoice with you in this happy moment of your life, your silver jubilee at work, a commendable achievement. Congratulations, Mrs. Kashmira. We invite Reverend Father Orville to read the address for Mrs. Valina de Souza and Mr. Sabio de Souza and felicitate them for their loyalty and commitment. Dear Mrs. Valina de Souza, Your status on the phone, cell phone says, my auspicious day has finally arrived. <laughs> A good teacher can inspire hope, ignite imagination, and instill a love of learning. <clears throat> In the year 1997, a young dynamic 
energetic and creative person who walked into the portals of this prestigious institution with the sole aim of educating with the heart. The school welcomed Ms. Valina de Sousa, Miss at that time, and has not regretted that decision for with her came unimaginable creative skills, willingness to walk that extra mile. The management and parents witness unique cultural day performances that you directed. You are an excellent teacher who takes on various roles, be training students for choral recitations or being a yogi and imparting love for yoga to organizing and comparing functions, keeping the staff and students engaged. <clears throat> Our online education brought to the fore your capability to educate through the digital media. Your desire to make an impact made you learn the nuances of the digital world and you used it not only in class as a PPT, presentations, but also for special occasions, be it for birthdays or special days, celebrated where entertaining video presentations made us erupt with laughter. Your prowess in the skills of writing prose and poetry had us enthralled. As we witnessed students trained by you declaim a self-composed piece on the Oak Oratory of the school, and later, as we read the acrostic on our late Reverend Father Bernard, published in the SDB West. Multi-talented as you are, you act well, sing melodiously in your mother tongue too apart from English, and dance gracefully, which speaks volumes of your talent. Congratulations and God's blessings in the years to come. Dear Mr. Savio de Souza, we were wondering whether you would make it today because this morning you gave us the news that your mother is in the ICU. We express our gratitude as we joyfully participate in your Silver Jubilee felicitation at Don Bosco Matunga. You have completed 25 years of sincere and dedicated work. And on this occasion, we are privileged to present a tribute to you. The three Ds, namely direction, dedication, and devotion, have been your watchwords all through the 25 years you have worked in this institution. You have a passion for cricket and have motivated players to playing cricket with zest. Ever eager to encourage students to come to the ground, they have cultivated the habit to play outdoor games, which today is the need of the hour for our young generations. You always encourage our students to believe that speed is the essence of any sport. Whenever it is PT, 
period, the primary students are eagerly waiting for their Sir Savio to come to class to take them to the ground to play games and do different exercises. The staff functions are tinged with your enthusiasm to participate eagerly and to light up the dance floor with your moves. Today, as we celebrate, as we celebrate your silver jubilee in this institution, we wish you many more years of dedicated service in this institution. We invoke God's choicest blessings upon you, your loved ones, and especially on your mother. Congratulations, Mr. Savio. It's tough to stay in the same place for a very long time. However, maybe the word tough wasn't in your dictionary and you have sailed together with us through all the harsh and good times. We would like to congratulate our Silver Jubilarians on achieving this fantastic professional milestone and also wish you the best of luck for times to come. To our loving retiring staff, we want to acknowledge the years of selfless service to this institution. Today, we want to celebrate our love for you and thank you all for being a part of this riveting success story of Don Bosco. I invite Reverend Father Crispino to read a citation for Mrs. Shobha D'Souza and Mrs. Vijayalakshmi Nair and thereafter felicitate them for their longevity of service and dedication. I am so happy to do this both for Shobha and Mrs. Viji for two reasons. First, just as I told you, uh, Sir Sabi is a friend of mine because um, both our mothers were teaching in Sitaram Prakash. Shobha and my journey started in Sitaram Prakash. Both of us were in the same class because both our mothers were teachers over there. And I sat by her side till the third standard. And in the fourth standard, because my mother was the fourth standard class teacher, she got me transferred to St. Joseph's High School. Then I happened to appoint Shobha when I was principal as the supervisor of the KG section. And now I'm bidding her farewell as she retires. I'll tell you about Miss Viji later. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Shobha, if it's time to say goodbye, life is ready to reward you with a new hello. You have given this school 34 years of dedicated service. She deserves that. As we fondly recollect your years of service here in Savio Kindergarten, a part of Don Bosco's Matunga, we are honored to present to you a tribute as you retire, for you have been instrumental in the cause of education by molding children, sharing love, and dedicating your life in shaping them into young men of tomorrow. 
you have also been an anchor to the staff of the kindergarten section sharing your expertise in training the teachers to always do the right thing as you headed the department as the supervisor you were noted for the best qualities a human could have to begin with you began every day with hearing holy mass yes prayer was an important part of your daily life the staff functions especially the staff picnics had your touch in the culinary department we are going to miss that as you leave the portals of this esteemed institution do take time to look back at your many accomplishments the special moments that you have spent with those whom you have worked with and worked for we the management staff and students of don bosco matunga wish you the very best in the next phase of your life with family and friends enjoying special moments of togetherness may the lord bless you abundantly with peace good health and happiness congratulations mrs shobha dear mrs vijay lakshmi nair lovingly we call her mrs viji you know bernard and me we both graduated from the same college in pune navroshi wadia college and both of us graduated in maths so maths is our favorite subject and miss viji is the head of the maths department for many years that's why she's very special to me I don't know if she was special to Father Bernard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are lovingly called Miss Viji by all, both staff and students. You dedicated twenty-six years of your life selflessly by building relationships with students. at the right time in their lives and supporting their academic and social development you are a master of your subject mathematics you have spent years among the students sharing knowledge and imparting important life lessons you always used multiple innovative ways of teaching learning new tricks and tips and pass them on to your students after the demise of reverend father bernard fernandez you were made the headmistress of the school you became the first ever lay person in the history of don bosco high school matunga to take up this post you are a role model for your colleagues and a mentor for the younger staff and students you have great faith and devotion to mary help of christians and to saint john bosco you would always say that the spirit of don bosco runs in your blood and whatever you are today is all because of him we hope that this retirement gives you the chance to spend more time with your family and enjoy with carefree endless leisure 
may you have a long happy and fulfilling retirement congratulations mrs vijay lakshmi We invite Reverend Father Ajoy to read an address for Mr. J. Mudiyappan and felicitate him. Dear Mr. Mudiyappan, a senior but young at heart support staff, fondly called Rajnikant, the supervisor of the sorry. the superstar of the primary section at don bosco high school joined the school in the year 1988 you're going to retire but you look ever young proving the fact that age is just a number and has no limitations you have served this prestigious institution for 35 years giving your best always to those you came in contact with your presence in the primary section to keep the classrooms and the corridors spick and span adds beauty to our esteemed school always punctual whether it is for the distribution of worksheets logbooks registers hammering unwanted nails or setting the benches you carry out all your duties with special care retirement is not the end but just the beginning of a new phase of life may you enjoy the very best that life has to offer with your family friends and especially your grandchildren we wish you all success and happiness in whatever this new journey brings your way congratulations and god bless We invite Reverend Father Oval to read an address for Mrs. Deepika Matkar and felicitate her. Last but not the least, dear Mrs. Deepika Matkar, I'll speak in English. You get it translated afterwards. Retirement is just a never-ending vacation. It is true in every sense for you, Mrs. Dipika, who joined Don Bosco High School in the primary section on 7th August 
and the support staff team. Although your role was to support the head teacher and teachers, you went way beyond your duties and responsibilities in ensuring that our boys never felt that they were away from their homes. Your motherly demeanor has captured the hearts of our boys as well as the staff members. You ensured that you, complete, you completed your work with sincerity. You helped our boys even in the small tasks like changing their school uniforms and getting them ready for their other activities. Mrs. Deepika, you also ensured that you shared a healthy relationship with your colleagues and enhanced the positive environment in the school. Your discipline and way of working, even during the pandemic, showed your commitment and dedication consistently. We wish you all the best. Congratulations, Mrs. Deepika. We invite Mrs. Shobha D'Souza as a representative of the retiring staff to address the gathering. Respected Rector and Principal, Father Crispino, Vice Rector, Father Joy, Administrator, Father Orville, Vice Principal, Sir Clifford, members of the management, teachers, parents, and my dear students, past and present. I carry the onerous task of summarizing 34 years of my being in Don Bosco along with Viji, Muriapa, and Deepika, who cumulatively cover a span of half a century, along with our jubilarians, Lakshmi, Reshma, Janet, Daksha, Kashmira, Walina, and Savio, who together sum up to 175 years of service, collectively almost 250 years in three minutes is surely an impossible task. The thoughts, feelings, and sentiments which are expressed here are a contribution from each one of us who are being felicitated. The overpowering sentiment among us is a feeling of thanks, thankfulness, a feeling of gratitude, a feeling of being blessed over the years in this hallowed institution. The memories that come to our mind are ones that we cherish, ones that are unforgettable, and ones 
though being blissful, have also been adventurous and taken us on a roller coaster ride. They all have been truly enriching moments. They have been indeed happy hours. My sincere gratitude goes out to God, who has been my strength and guide each single day. My appreciation goes out to all who guided and accompanied me down the years, from past to present, rectors, principals, colleagues, parents, our invaluable support staff, not forgetting my tiny tots, who are truly instrumental in enriching my journey. My prayer today is that we all continue to follow in the vision and mission of our founder, Saint John Bosco, reaching out to the poor and the marginalized in his spirit of love and service. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Shobha D'Souza. We wish you all serenity and joy in retirement. And may you always exude the Don Bosco spirit. Thank you, dear fathers, for that warm and earnest felicitation deserving of our retiring staff and silver jubilarians. Reaching out to the marginalized of youth has been yet another tenet in the founding vision of Don Bosco. The young boys are sensitized to reach out to children and people who are from another end of the social spectrum and engage in cheerful giving. This year, our school reached out to the Adivasi people of Kolad in the Palgar district who face issues like poor health conditions, lack of education, poor socio-economic conditions which affects their livelihood. Collection of daily used articles were made to render help and enable them to lead a life of dignity. We are intrigued to know the situation at Kolad and the mission work carried out by the Jeevandarva Institute of Social Service. Before the formal presentation of the check, we shall view a short video clip of the mission work carried out by the sisters whom we promise to help from our proceeds to the Christmas Pararoba.
We request Reverend Father Crispino to symbolically sign the check of rupees 5 lakhs for the just cause to improve the socio-economic conditions of the people of Kolar. We request Reverend Father Rector and Reverend Father Orville, our administrator, to formally hand over the check to Sister Hilda Fernandez, along with the student, Student Loria, and her mentor, Professor Kalyani from the College of Social Work, Nirmala Niketan. We invite Sister Hilda Fernandez, our guest of honor, to say a few words. Respected Father Principal, Father Crispino, respected Chief Guest, Mr. Jay Prakash, and all the dignitaries on the stage and fathers, dear parents and all students. For me, today is a day and during the last two weeks, the phrase that has come to my mind is, God is a God of surprises. And this phrase has come as a reality and the joy that I'm experiencing and my institute is experiencing is tremendous. Because I never even dreamt, I never even, even imagined that this day would have come today to get us a donation of five lakhs for our works. And I have no words what kind of expressions I need to say because an institution to run and carry out the activities is not a joke. Even a pie, a single rupees makes a difference. And today this was possible because just now you saw along with me, there was a student, a sister student from uh, Salation. She's our student and I was uh, guiding her to collect some funds for us. That's how she reached here. And she told me, Father, we'll contact you. I have never even met Father. For the first time today, I met Father. So the student, Lorina Bandia, from close by, she contacted, and she's the mediator. And her professor, Kalyani Ma'am, is her mentor, who brought this day for me a greatest joy. And I wish to thank Father once again for this great joy that you have given to us to reach out through this small donation. And we assure you, surely we will make the best use for, for reaching out to the marginalized. And I thank, because I know this is the contribution of every single maybe parent, uh, the students, the management, everyone's uh, contribution is there. So we thank you once again from the Institute and from the management. Thank you, Father. Father, we have a small token as a remembrance for this great support of yours.
you, Sister Hilda Fernandez, for your kind words. Escorts are requested to lead the dignitaries to their seats. As we chart the trajectory taken by the school, we realize that Don Bosco High School has reached a new high. The exhaustive annual school report will highlight a few of these accomplishments. Time for you to watch, listen, reflect and also feel proud. The annual school report. What is done in love is done well, said Dutch artist Vincent van Gogh. In keeping with the Rector Major's Strena for the year, which is do everything through love and nothing through constraint, we at Don Bosco High School Matunga have chosen Love Liberates as our theme for this academic year. It has been a bittersweet year. We had only just completed the grand celebration of 80 glorious years of the school in January 2021 when we were shocked and saddened by the untimely demise of our beloved principal, Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez. Father Bernard has left behind a legacy of great love and so we celebrate the life of this distinguished Salesian whom we were blessed to have leading us for seven special years. The Don Bosco family Matunga released a special tribute with 56 messages and 56 pictures. They speak volumes of the giant who taught us much till the Lord saw it fit to take him on 24th May 2022. We thank the Almighty for showering abundant blessings upon us, including the precious gift of dear Father Bernard. The annual school report brings to you a synopsis of the events and achievements during the academic year 2022-2023. The year saw the inauguration of a new section in school, the nursery. The management is committed to providing safe and state-of-the-art facilities to the students. In this regard, we saw the extension of a flow on both the primary and secondary buildings which are to house extra classrooms. We also have two new auditoriums, one each in the primary and the secondary. The secondary auditorium has been dedicated to our late principal and has been named the Father Bernard's Hall. We have also had extensive refurbishing of the conference hall in the secondary section.
Back to school was a special time for all and we welcomed our dear students with cheerfully decorated classrooms. It was heartwarming to see them catch up with old friends and make new ones. For the many blessings we have all received both in school and at home, we offer prayers at the start of the new year. May God help and protect us always. Reverend Father Biju Michael, the Regional Councillor for South Asia, was with us on the 23rd and 24th of August 2022 for the extraordinary visitation that happens once every six years. Father gave us this warm message on behalf of the Rector Major. Our prayer services right through the year and the class assemblies were based on the theme for the year, Love Liberates. The school website, Facebook page, YouTube channel and the Don Bosco Courier report our activities and achievements on a regular basis. Our sincere gratitude goes out to the members of the management for their vision, guidance and encouragement as always. We welcomed Reverend Father Crispino de Souza, who took over as both Rector and Principal. We also have Reverend Father Ajoy Fernandez, our Vice Rector, and Reverend Father Oval Coutinho, Administrator. We thank our heads and supervisors, Mr. C. Rai. Secondary School Coordinator Mr. Cliff Richard D'Souza Vice Principal Mrs. Vijay Lakshmi Naya Our New Headmistress Mrs. Christina Mascarenas Assistant Headmistress Mrs. Shoba D'Souza Supervisor Savio Kindergarten Mrs. Rochelle D'Souza Our New Supervisor for the Savio Kindergarten Mrs. Griselda Fernandez, Head Teacher Primary, Mrs. Elizabeth Suarez, Mrs. Anita Phillip, Mrs. Reshma Belganka, Secondary Supervisors. We thank our parent teacher team, the Salesian Educative Community, for their support and contribution towards improving the educational standards of the school. We have our group of elected student leaders, the young men who assist the management and teachers in the planning and execution of special events and lead by example. Our SSE batch of 2021-22 have done us proud with their results. Don Bosco High School Matunga has once again won recognition from these esteemed organizations. The school was placed in the top five state board schools in Mumbai at the Brain Feed School Excellence Awards 2022 published in the April 2022 edition of the Brain Feed magazine. The school was awarded in the following categories. Education World India School Rankings 2022-2023 are judged the school as the best dynamic school for imparting quality education and rank the school as one of the vintage legacy boys day schools. We have been blessed to have had all our activities, events and exams conducted in the school this year after the gap due to the COVID pandemic. 
hands on learning is the mantra for our tiny tots and they participate in a plethora of activities they also celebrate special days that are tailored to help them learn in the most stimulating interesting and enjoyable ways The primary students also profit by a host of activities including the cultural days, field trips, the beyond academics and E7 sports training. A special highlight this year were the house assemblies that celebrated varied facets of our dear Father Bernard's personality, including Father as a leader, as a tech-savvy person, the musician, and the wizard with numbers. Other highly anticipated events of the year were the Bosco Kala Utsav and the Christmas Panorama. Our students continue to shine in co-curricular activities at the inter-school level right through the year. Training programs were attended by teachers so as to equip themselves to meet the students needs The formidable baston of sport continues to shine brightly as ever Thank you.
Dedication, perseverance, and sheer grit, coupled with sincere love, are sure to bring glory. And it is this winning combination that has seen the school scale greater heights year after year. We are grateful for the immense love, vision, and perseverance of our pioneers and the numerous Salesians who believed that vision to follow in their footsteps. We, the Don Bosco family, pray to the Almighty, to our father and founder, St. John Bosco, and to our dear departed Father Bernard, to always guide and bless us.